Hey guys, it's Brado here, and I've got the second episode of our BAGM Connected series. Uh, the Royal Hockey League is now up and running. We've got about 20 GMs in the league, so plenty of players involved. And um, yeah, there might be a spot or two left depending on activity from players, but we're pretty much set now, and we've just started the first advancement period of the season. This episode has two games against um, human players, uh, which you guys will see. Obviously, if you're a part of the league, you'll see yourself playing against me when we play games, and two uh, highlight games against the computer. So we're going to start off here with a game against the Carolina Hurricanes. And we're playing against, um, hold on one second, there it is, Raider Nation uh, something something number number. So yeah, we're, we're playing this one as the first game of the season, um, or sorry, the second game of the season. We already played uh, Mike and his uh, Philadelphia Flyers. Now this one is uh, one of the guys from the YouTube uh, channel, so I don't know him personally. Here's a big chance so early to start the game where you get a nice chance there you're gonna see a lot of uh, breakaways for myself like I said really need to work on the breakaways and I've been saying it but I'm officially gonna do it I'm gonna take some time on the one-on-ones you know work on uh, changing the plays up so it's a little bit more different uh, there's the end of the first period really not that many shots uh, both ways you know a couple just soft shots on the net for both of us and then one relatively good chance there from Hainsey on D there's a chance, though, for the Carolina Hurricanes to start the period. And then Evander Kane gets a breakaway here. Nice little chance. Tries to go short side. Can't put it away. And we get another chance in front of the net. Saved by Cam Ward, who played a great game in this one. There's another shot from us. We keep uh, keep it coming. Here's Ladd with a breakaway. Again, the backhand, forehand type of move is the only move I have in my arsenal. It doesn't seem to be working that well. Here's Walwood on the breakaway. Try and do a little leg deep there as well. No goals, so we're up to like four or so breakaways in this game. We didn't put any of them away. Uh, now this is the end of the second there. So the game's going by pretty quick. Uh, again, both chances for us, but not too many. Just kind of simple chances going both ways. Here's another chance off the break for Carolina as they move the puck around. Picking in from the point. Nice shot and a good save by Pavlik. Here he tries to feed in front, and Pavlik gets a little bit lucky. Could have gone in off him. Spajek there with another chance, so Carolina kind of gets it going in the third period here. Uh, from the point, they get another chance, but I'm able to poke it away, and another breakaway here. Another chance, really need to get this one, but just uh, just can't get it in the net. And uh, that leads to us uh, getting our downfall in this game, ultimately, as uh, now we're only down to nine minutes in this one. They get a chance going the other way. Try and go for the hit there, doesn't work. LaRose cuts in on Klitsum, gets a shot off, and that's a nice goal from Chad LaRose. Getting the first goal of the game and getting the lead for the Carolina Hurricanes. They're up 1-0 in this one. Um, so yeah, now we're down to about 4 minutes here to try and see if we can salvage. Uh, going to OT. There's a nice chance we just can't put away. And uh, that's the, the saying of this game for us, guys. We just kept getting chances and chances but just couldn't put any of them in the net. At the end of the period, we were actually on the penalty kill so it didn't help us much. But there you go, guys. The Carolina Hurricanes win this game. Great game, had a lot of fun playing Raider Nation, he was a great player, so props to him for winning the game between us. Um, but yeah, so now uh, officially we've lost the first game in OT against the Philadelphia Flyers and we've lost this game in regulation, so we're 0-1-1 to start the season. Not the season uh, start that we we're hoping for obviously because it's going to be a long season, we want to get as many points early on as well, get in the early days before injuries start picking up and whatnot. That's one thing I'm actually wanted to touch on as well as we start up a game against Crazy Legs right here, is that it's really cool how the injuries are and uh, the BGM connected because it's different with the advancement periods. You can't do specific days and whatnot. So they say, you know, said player is injured for 30 games or so, and it's kind of cool how it's like a specific time. Obviously not cool if that's your player uh, injured for 30 games. But in the case of that, it's still kind of interesting to see how that all works and whatnot. So Crazy Legs was a great opponent, or opponent to play. Uh, we had a pretty good game here. I get an early goal right here, but a lot of the play was actually going his way. He had very good uh, defensive play where he was able to poke check most of my chances away. And uh, he was able to move the puck pretty well in the offensive zone. So a guy to watch out for in the West for sure. Now off the draw, we have, like I said, the one nothing lead here. Uh, Stahlberg comes in, gets a chance, but nice save by Pavlik there. Now a little dipsy doodle from Carcillo, and he gets a shot off. Nice save by Pavlik again. And another one there, Pavlik doing a good job in the first period as there's a couple good chances going the way of the Chicago Blackhawks. There's a nice chance for Ladd who can't put it away on the one-timer. Now Kane gets a chance here. Another breakaway and again, not not going in. They're just not going in whatsoever. There's Hosa though getting a breakaway back the other way. And they get the penalty shot on this one. First period was really hectic back and forth action. And at the same time, we made a lot of block shots too. Some, some great saves. 
Uh, here's a chance for him on the shootout shot, and uh, I'm able to make the save. Those chances are always scary for me, at least in net. It's always a little bit of a iffy thing to do because you can look like an idiot if you make the wrong move and whatnot. But there's the end of the first period, guys. So shots went in favor of the Chicago Blackhawks. We had the one nothing lead against the flow of play a little bit. But still a good start from the, the Jets as we uh, have some good saves from Pavlik and um, a couple good chances going our way. So here we start the period. Uh, a good little uh, opportunity here for the Chicago Blackhawks. We were able to block the chances from going uh, anywhere near Pavlik. Then uh, another dipsy doodle from Chicago there, Taze of the Chance, and it's kind of semi-block saved by Pavlik again. Now they got the power play here with 14 minutes left in the second period, and Taze from the slot gets a nice goal, or sorry, Kane from the slot gets a nice goal. That's his first goal of the season for him, and uh, that ties the game up, guys. So now it's a tied 1-1 game here with 14 minutes left in the second period. There's another chance, and a nice little tie up there on the wing as Bickle could have had the rebound goal there. Here's another chance for us, and Ladd kind of doing a deja vu moment there where he already had a chance exactly like that. Couldn't put that one away either. And there's a chance for Evander Kane who can't get that one to go anyway. Uh, now Taze up the, the wing here, passes over to Stahlberg who uses his speed, gets out on the side there, gets past all the D-men, and there's a goal for Jonathan Taze. A little bit of goaltender interference on the play, but nonetheless, it's a goal for the Chicago Blackhawks, and they are now up 2-1 in this game, heading into the third period. So we're down under it again, uh, clearing the puck there. One of the things I'm going to be doing um, in this series at least, you know, the New York Islanders have kind of said in the comments that I will make trades, but they're not going to be as often. I'm really going to kind of um, work the Winnipeg Jets to be the team that I want to be. Uh, you know, they're going to still have players in the Winnipeg Jets, but I'm going to make a lot of trades so that, you know, when I'm playing online, playing against you guys and whatnot, it's kind of like the, the side that I want to have, the, the players that I want to be playing with. So... Uh, at the moment, I've made a couple trades. We'll get back to that in a future video that I'll have coming up in the near future. Here's the goal, though, uh, to get us tied up in the third period of 12 minutes left. Oli Jokinen. Oli Jokinen's a guy I'm not sure if I actually want to keep, but he keeps uh, doing a good job for us. I mean, for the time being, we got to give him his time, got to give him his playing minutes. Uh, now nine minutes left. There's a chance on Pavlik, a screenshot, essentially, and he makes another good save there. Hit on uh, Stahlberg on the board. It gets us going the other way with Mietnin coming in. Does a little cut in there, and here's a chance for him, but no, 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 not going to happen again. But Haines here on the breakaway, gets a goal for us, so we get the lead. Finally a breakaway goal after like 13 or 14 chances. Finally goes in, Ron Hainsey, the defenseman, gets a little lucky on the, the play there, but now we got the one goal lead of about five minutes left in this one, guys. So now cutting in, it's only a, a one minute game or so, and I just felt the anxiety building up. I'm like, oh no, this is going to be bad, this is going to be bad, and... Little did I know it was going to be bad. Uh, there's Jonathan Taze with his second goal of the game. A uh, block shot, but it's right there sitting for him and Pavlik. Can't do anything about it. So again, we're going to the OT period, uh, that dreaded period of mine uh, where, I, like I said, anxiety builds up and whatnot. But one more chance to finish the period. Another good save by Crawford. And that winds this one up, guys. We're going to OT, and we'll see what happens in that period for us. So yeah, uh, the chances, like I said... Really good game because we had lots of shots, 22 to 21. Relatively even shots, but I still, like I said, felt like the play was going a little bit Chicago's way. Uh, he was doing a good job on most of his chances, getting great plays. But as well, the, the cool part about the game is we had a lot of block shots, a lot of opportunities missed too. So it was really fast. It was really fast-paced game overall. So you uh, see that from the shots, but really there was way more chances than that as well. There's a chance for Evander Kane trying to get the goal of the game. Isn't going to happen for him. And here comes Bolin now. Cuts in. A nice chance to score, but Pavlik with a big save. Now we go the other way here. Brian Little tries to cut in. Bad choice as Jonathan Taze gets the breakaway. And on the breakaway, I decide to play as the goaltender. Bad decision as he scores the game-winning goal there. And that's it for this one, guys. Uh, Chicago wins the game 4-3 in OT, and we lose another one. So 0-1-2 to start. Not feeling that great about that, but again, you know, you win some, you lose some. We're winning, uh, or we're losing more and we're winning at this point. Still, though, we have a couple more games in this advancement period to turn it around for us. Two games against the Washington Capitals, and I'll be doing these videos just like this, where it's, you know, last 20, 30 seconds of the game, you can see the score, and you can see the final plays of the game, and then as well, uh, as well on top of that, we'll also um, have the highlights, you know, the, the highlights you normally see after the game will be the highlights for the package of this, so you guys can see essentially what was picked for the highlights of the game afterwards. Um, so there's Evander Kane. He got his goal, uh, the third goal of the game for him. He actually got a hat trick in this game. So it's all Evander Kane all the time in this one. 
We had a pretty good game. I was really determined to win this one. Got super focused. I was like, I'm not going to lose another game. And there's the first goal there. Kind of actually jumps off the pads. This one was really funny, actually, uh, for Andre Pavlik. We were on the power play. He was trying to notify the, the defense that, you know, the play was ending. And while he was tapping his stick, it went in, just rolled in, essentially. Um, but, yeah, we got the, the next goal right here. Nice little pass and little tip shot in by Evander Kane. And that was the highlight of the game as we got the OT winner, uh, not the OT winner, the uh, empty net winner there as well to make it a 3-1 win for us. And um, yeah, it moves our record to 1-1-2. One, one, so yeah, after that game, we played uh, again the Washington Capitals, who are a CPU team. Um, and you can see the stats from this one. We had pretty pretty a uh, dominant shot clock there. And uh, also uh, the face-offs were all right for us. We did pretty good on the face-offs. Here's the end of the game. We uh, played a home and home essentially. I played the, the later game first because I wanted to get the away game out of the way because I thought that would be more challenging. Then we played the home game here. And with 10 seconds left, we had the 3-0 win, which was another good win for us because we kept the, the goals down. We kept the goals down most of our games. 2-1, uh, sorry, 1-2, 0-1, uh, and then the game against Chicago was whatever it was, a high, higher score obviously. And then, um, and then the other two games against the Washington Capitals were 3-1 uh, for us and 3-0 for us. So, yeah, good games all around. Um, Obviously, we we lost the CPU game, or won the CPU games, but lost the the games against the the users. But we're gonna hopefully uh, bounce back in the next episode. That's it for this one, though, guys. Um, also, watch for the advancement period episode, guys, which will be a, a recap essentially of what happened in the past uh, two weeks in game. Uh, you'll see uh, where the standings are, what injuries happened, possibly trades, free agent signings, the whole bunch of it. You guys will get to know what's going on with the league along with what's going on with the Winnipeg Jets. Thanks for watching this one, though, guys. So that'll be up in the near future. And then the next one of the Winnipeg Jets will be up at the end of the next advancement period. Cheers.